ADHD medication has a rocky track record. The use of ADHD medication has been widely debated because of the negative side effects and lack of research surrounding using medication. There has been an ever-increasing number of studies regarding the prescription and consequences of ADHD medication, especially in youth. Should children be medicated for ADHD? If so, to what extent? And furthermore, does ADHD medication affect children's long-term development? Duff Wilson discusses in a New York Times article that in general, medical professionals are too quick to prescribe ADHD medication to children. He also claims that doctors can legally prescribe them for off-label use, including in preschoolers, even though research has not shown them to be safe or effective for children. Furthermore, a Harvard study claimed that more comprehensive reporting of adverse events is necessary in future research regarding ADHD medication in young children. The combination of the hasty prescriptions and lack of research results in what is perceived as overtreatment of children who are said to have ADHD. It is important to also judge ADHD medications overuse by looking at the relationship between use in young children and their experienced side effects. A study from the National Library of Medicine found that ADHD medication can disrupt sleep-wake cycles and REM sleep, while a Harvard study also found that ADHD medication in children can lead to decreased appetite. The prescription of ADHD medication in spite of these known side effects is a particularly debated topic because of the problems involving ethicality. Although there is discussion that ADHD medication is overprescribed and negatively affects children's development, there is evidence to debunk this argument. Medication in children and adolescents follows trends of the diagnoses closely and is not overprescribed. According to a study done by Columbia University, Patterns of prescriptions for antidepressants and stimulants are broadly consistent with the typical ages associated with the onsets of common mental disorders. The general argument that the overprescription of medication is simply false. Statistics prove that the number of people diagnosed versus the number of people that are medicated reveals that far less people are medicated than are diagnosed. Therefore, the misconception that doctors are overprescribing ADHD medication to children is untruthful. Methylphenidate, the most prescribed drug for ADHD, has been proven to decrease symptoms of impulsiveness, inattention, and hyperactivity. According to an article written by Ellen Bratton, methylphenidate did improve children's performance in the classroom and had a positive impact on the quality of life for the family. Similar to most medications, methylphenidate does come with negative side effects, including a decreased appetite and problems with sleep. According to an article written by Caroline Miller, stimulant medication can decrease a child's appetite for the first couple of years, but over a 10-year period, there is no difference in the height or weight of children who took the medication versus the children who did. The benefits of stimulant medication outweigh the growth-related side effects over time. Our claim was, to what extent should kids be medicated for psychological diagnoses, and how do medications affect their development? Not only have studies from Harvard and the New York Times found that ADHD medication is prescribed too quickly without a basis of research, but it has also been found by the National Library of Medicine that some medication can result in negative side effects upon initially starting medication. It is clear that there must be more research into the consequences of ADHD medication in children before doctors have the ability to prescribe it. ADHD medication has been proven to improve not only the children's life in various environments, but has also seen a decrease in the symptoms of hyperactivity and inattention in a classroom setting. This then helps them maintain peer friendships, academic achievement, and improve the quality of life at home. After researching the subject extensively, our group has chosen to take a neutral stance. However, through extensive diagnosis and behavioral treatment, ADHD medication can be the right option for one's child. While the prescription of ADHD medication should be left up to the doctors, the decision on whether the child should take the medication ultimately is left up to the parents.